This is the Idavox Report. I just want to make a point here that I am a fan of the band Brass Against. Yeah! And, um, I don't know if I want to go there this week. Uh, I love I, I love Sophia. Um, and for those who don't oh, know, just go on Twitter. It's okay now. I, no, do not cheer that shit. No, what? I, no, I didn't know. I didn't know why you were cheering because no, no, it was consensual. Oh my god! No, no, no. Well, it was. It was. I mean, it was. But no, 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 no. Come on. It's still. It's fine. Oh, get the fuck it's, out of here! She's about to be investigated herself. Police are looking for her over it. Uh, well, you know, she can. I can. I can. I can send her my lawyer's contact info. Yeah, some people don't even know what the hell we're talking about. So now I got to tell everybody. There's this band called Brass Against. They were, um, they play, um, rock songs, but with a brass, um, with a brass band. Yeah, we have something like that in Somerville. Yeah. And they're out of sight. They're out of sight. They do a lot of Rage Against the Machine covers. Um, they do Tool. They're opening up for Tool in a couple of weeks. I oh. hope cool. Um, but um, but now they're being called Rage Against the Latrine. And oh, <laughs> oh no! And this is why, for those who don't know, Sophia Uriba, who's their lead singer, beautiful woman, downright beautiful, <laughs> um, was getting into the uh the performance, and somebody in the audience asked her to pee on him. She had to go. I cast the out, Satan. I cast the out. What's the big Brought him up on stage, drop trial, and why the fuck are we talking about? She hit her into out. that okay. meeting. Okay. Everybody, get over yourselves. It's fine. She hit. I am not. I am not trial. sweating. Man. I'm just trying to keep from saying the worst puns in the world just by accident when I talk about the band. She 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 was uh she was facing like sideways so you couldn't see her private parts. Are we so still it recording this? Are we recording this? Is I'm not. It was. It's not R. Kelly. Okay, it's fine. Oh, this is live. It seems oh, yeah. like no, that. No, 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 um, they're going to be known for it. On the other hand, fuck it. Yep. I didn't. I didn't know they existed until I saw this blow up, and I'm like, hey, these are really they're, they're not shaking this. They're not shaking this. This no, is no, this is it. This is biting head off the bats of the level. This is who they are now. You are now, but it's like so funny because can I, my boy. Can I say yes. But when you're not that good at music, you have to do crazy shit for it. <laughs> but they good. are. Dude, they are a cover, a cover band. band. They're, they're a cover, cover band, band, and Fuck it's that. mediocre. No, no, no. It's a they cover are band. bad they're as hell. Band. They, they are nice as hell. They're you know, nice I wasn't a big fan of Pussy Riot. They're nice as hell, and they're good at playing their instruments, but come on. You know, there's real music. I mean, I'm not really always big on cover bands really all that much, but it's kind of like, are we getting into... Now we're getting into the music segment of the show. Yes, I um, like this part. But... <laughs> I, I I don't I really don't care for cover bands all that much, but when you get creative with it, then you just I like it because the singer is really hot. You got the hots for the singer, so you I'm think the band is great. Hey, hey, but I, if I, I, I think, yeah, but I'll be honest with you, I'm also a fan of um of uh, Max Sabbath, and Max Sabbath is just basically a cover it's band that the, yep. have you ever heard of them? Oh yeah, no no Brian, have you ever heard of them? I have. And okay. I've heard yeah. So, all right. Up. All right. If, if we're doing the music segment, oh, me, and, me and Lauren are obsessed with Bill McClintock and DJ Cumberbun. You know, mashups. Mashups. Oh, oh the mashups. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I just saw one that made me cry. So, so like Donna cry. Summer meets Danzig. Mother, but it's like, mm, 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 like yeah, mm, but it's mm, like mm, bad mm, girls, mm, 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 bad. Like, well, it's how, like a, about, it's how about the one when they did um stand up for your rights mashed up with Rebel Yell? Yeah, yeah! yeah we love that one. Right now, Christian and Brian are like, "What the fuck is going on here? Where did we lose this?" Well, I mean, I know, I know Rebel Yell. That's I, really, I know these. I know these so really words. Idle. But together, I just, but yeah. But I just saw one that just made me have to turn it off after thirty seconds because I was like too busy laughing but, my but head so, off. But so it's it's Rebel Yell uh, meets, meets Bob Marley. So like, yeah, uh, like you got to see this on YouTube. Up. It's there's an a art. whole it's an series. Art. There's a whole series of Led Zeppelin Black Sabbath mashups of Robert yeah, Plant singing to uh, Black Sabbath and, and vice versa. So but try like, now, try right. Black Sabbath. Try Metallica with ABBA. Yep. Oh, I don't think I will. Louis Lewis in the news. New Metallica. Metallica. Yes. 
Yes, they did yeah. that. You know post that pre one. the Black Album or post the Black Album? Um, it's Ender Sandman um, with uh, yeah. one of your drugs. No, it's uh, Ender Sandman with Hip to be a Square. Yeah, that's right. Hip to, hip be, to, be, a hip to be a Sandman. I wish I'm I one of those old fuddy duddies that thinks they haven't done shit good since like 1989. You know, well, I'm not yeah, I'm there too, but, but, well, that's true. but this is different. <laughs> this is very different. I assure you, you will not it's be upset. Kind of... The juxtaposition is the art. We have really gotten off topic here. Oh yeah. no, no, no! This is what happens. When we start yeah. happens. <laughs> and by the way, while up, up while, while I am on the subject of um, creative um, cover bands, um, Joe I Biden wrote the Patriot Act, it. huh? <laughs> What? Joe Biden wrote the Patriot Act. Oh, yeah, about that. <laughs> That's on the fire. But I got to throw in Postmodern Jukebox. Everybody got to check out Postmodern Jukebox. So right, cross right. me on that one. Cover songs done in like oldie time. Uh, what you Yeah. My sister and brother-in-law went to go see them in Asbury. They were in Asbury uh, like a couple of years ago before the pandemic. My sister went to go see them. She likes them. 